Hello traders, hello traders, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, bonjour, bonsoir mes amis, good morning, good morning, good morning. For those of you who are new to us, we are the TS MACD Pro uh, Traders. The title of the video is How to Master MACD Indicator Part 4. How to Master MACD Indicator Part 4. We recommend to traders to watch Part 1 to 3. So you may understand, okay, how to master MACD. I have been uh, recording this series of video uh, to show traders how to master the moving average convergent divergence indicators. Uh, MACD stands for moving average convergent and divergence, okay? In this video, we're going to focus on the slope of MACD, all right? And I want to share with you, okay, a few trading tips and tricks that you can use, okay, when you are using the MACD indicator. The slow stochastic is not a trending indicator. The RSI is not a trending indicator. The CCI is not a commodity channel index indicator. It's not a trending indicator, but MACD is a trending indicator so like the military people we use different tool grenade bomb okay weapons for different activities different purposes now do not use any gun by the way all right human being can talk all right <laughs> all right so we want to use okay tools for specific Task, all right. So you want when you are using the slow stochastic, you are using the CCI, you are using uh, okay the RSI, you are using what we call an oscillator, all right, to time the market, all right. But MACD is not an ox it's an oscillator, but it's a trending oscillator, all right. So you will see a trader will say MACD is an oscillator. Yes, it is, but it is not okay for. Time in the market is a trending indicator. It shows us, MACD is showing us, the direction of the price. Are we in an uptrend? Are we in a downtrend? Are we in a horizontal market or a balanced market? And MACD will show you that. So if uh, the MACD is rising, okay, it's indicating to us that the trend is up. And when MACD is horizontal, it's telling us that the market is balanced, consolidating between two specific levels. When MACD is declining, sloping down, has what I like, you hear me talking about, has a negative slope, which means it's going down, all right? It's telling us that the market is going down. Sometimes there is a discrepancy between uh, the MACD and the price, uh, which means we see what we call divergence. I will be recording another series or video about how to master divergence. Too much crazy thing going on in this market. And I will clarify to traders, okay, in another series of video when I have time, okay, because I'm a busy bee, all right, uh, how to trade divergence, okay? So though sometimes MACD will be going up, okay, and the price will be going down, it's what we call, okay, divergence, all right? But very often, there are the MACD and the price will go in the same direction. But the key point you want to understand, we are not trading the MACD itself, we are trading the price. The price will have what we call the final set. All right, we talk about direct signal and indirect signal. An indirect signal is a warning given by all technical indicators. The only indicator that will give you a direct signal is the price. Whether you live in Bangkok, Tokyo, or London, or wherever you are, you are trading the price, not the indicator, okay? We have what we call a leading indicator, a leading signal, but you will wait for the price to confirm that leading indicator, okay, whichever proprietary tool you are using, okay? So let's get started talking about MACD. How do we master MACD? As I explained to you, we want to focus on the direction of MACD. So I'm on a monthly chart. You may say to me, George, are you crazy? Can you go to the 30-minute chart, 5-minute chart, 2-minute chart? All right, <laughs> okay. Let's start from the monthly chart first, okay? All right, so I'm using here the standard MACD 1226.9. Okay, now the question you want to ask 
why people use the standard model 1226 Okay, what is the best time frame one should use the standard MACD 1226 you, you want to understand, okay? I will talk about it also, the standard MACD, okay? Why should we use it? Uh, which time frame is the best time frame to use the standard MACD? Trailer that are using a TS MACD Pro is designed for specific time frame and it is not using the same setting like the standard MACD, all right? So, like I explained to you, we want to use a specific tool for a specific task. So we will use a specific setting for MACD for a specific time frame. But you will be able to do that if you understand, okay, <laughs> MACD, if you master MACD. So as I explained to you, if MACD is going up, it's telling us that the market should go up. So here we are. You can see that the price, which is the number one indicator, which we are trading, is going down, but MACD is going up. So up to this point, if I put a vertical line there, okay, stay with us because uh, I want to share, you are my friend, I want to share a few things with you. I'm putting a vertical line here, call it in turquoise, okay. All right, so you can see that there is a, what we call discrepancy or a divergence between the MACD and the price. So this session here, you can see that the price was going uh, horizontal, in a horizontal channel, but the MACD was going up. So when we are trading, we are trading the price, we want to draw the channels on the price before even looking at MACD. Once we look at MACD, we see the warning, so at this point in time, you can see that MACD is rising. It seems to me that the price is trending up, but it's not trending up yet. All right, so MACD going up. So the best way to use MACD for swing trading purposes, especially for swing trading purposes, you want to watch the slope of MACD. Whenever you have your MACD on your chart, you want to draw a trend line along MACD, even a channel along MACD. All right, so here I can draw a channel like this, okay? Because it's a trend indicator, indicator so we want to draw trend line along MACD. So MACD was inside this blue channel, now it went above it, went back inside near the media line of uh, this uh, small channel. We can do that with MACD, okay? So MACD is rising, but the price is consolidating. So MACD said to me, it's trending up, but the price said, no, George, wait, I will wait, wait until I give you, okay, a direct signal. We acknowledge that the trend is up, or the trend is about to go up, <laughs> okay? Doesn't mean that it will definitely go up until it starts going up. So now here you see, it come out. The best scenario, we will prefer it to come back and retest the top of the consolidation, okay? But it did not. What has happened here, pay attention carefully. If you see that like this, and you want to select a low risk entry point, do this what we are talking about, multi-talented training, the price out of a channel. Here we are, we project the channel to the upside, okay? This will allow you to select a low risk entry point. So I project my channel, because the price came out of the channel, I project it to the upside, and I will draw also the media line of my channel, you see here? So though the price did not come all the way to retest the top of the first channel, which will be the best place to enter the trade or the best place, uh, okay, to use a top-down trading method, the setup, the signal, and a low-risk entry point, talking about the TST, WSYS, use your A trading system, all right, this will be a better place for us, but you can see that the bullish momentum was quite strong, and the price prefer the media line of the projected channel, here, here, pull back. So now, MACD is saying to us it's trending up, but we will wait for the price to go. If the price is trending up, what do we want to see? Higher lows and higher high. So we want to buy, we want the price to pull back. But suppose MACD is trending up, okay, but the price is in a declining channel. You see here? Pay attention to this channel, this uh, line that I'm going to color now into red. You see, up to this point, the market is saying it's trending up, but the price is not. It's in, under a declining channel. Okay? So we, we will not, we will acknowledge what market is telling us here, but we will trade the price instead. The price below is uh, in a declining, you see here? 
And uh, if it's a very straight line, straight line is broken, this very straight up, okay? But you can see that it's not displaying lower lows and lower, it's not displaying lower lows anymore. So the bearish momentum is diminishing because the price is not displaying lower lows anymore. In the uptrend, if the price is not displaying higher highs anymore, it is telling us that the bullish momentum is diminishing. All right, this is about the language of the price. So here we can show, because we are not trading MACD, MACD is giving us the warning, it's rising the slope, but the price we are trading. Again, here, bearish setup. You see, finally, we are out of, we are outside the bearish trend line. So from this point onward, we can start being a bullish. All right? In normal scenario, we prefer the price to retest it here, but it did not. It's quite strong, bullish breakout. Today, we use, you see the triangle here, Pay attention to this triangle here. Okay, pay attention. Okay, I'm going to call it in red. There's a triangle there. Can you see it? Okay, trader love this. Okay, all right. Pay attention, pay attention, my friend. Okay, so we have a channel, a, a triangle here. As the price come up to the channel, we project the, the height of the channel to the other side. So here, we project it like this. Okay. Some trader will do like this. I always go to the lower part of the channel because I'm a conservative trader. So trader will put it here on top. And you can see that's where the price did stop. Okay, that's the target breakout out of a triangle right here. Okay, all right. So it came out, they were projected like this, and this is their target zone, also equal to the projected uh, channel here. So here, this is a convergent point, talking about convergent signal. If you receive a sell signal here, this is a contra trend, risky trade in an up move. We can use this for day trading purposes to grab some pips. We are on a monthly chart. You can see for two months, the price went down a bit to retest the low, the median line of the projected channel. All right. So, well, like I say to you, we are paying attention to the slope of MACD, but we are not trading MACD. We are trading the price. So the mistake that a lot of traders are making, they are trading the MACD itself instead of trading the price. You don't want to do that. You don't want to fight the price. You don't want to fight the market. You want to flow with the market. It doesn't matter which uh, trading system or which trading strategy you are applying, you will always trade the, pri the price itself. All right? So here we are. So finally, the price is rising, okay? Mag Mag it's aligning with MACD. All right? So in this scenario, we want to give priority to bullish signal. So if MACD is rising, how do we buy? Beautiful question, yes or no? So MACD is sloping up. Now you want to say, George, how do I buy? Okay, I'll show you. Show you, very simple. MACD is sloping up for day trading and swing trading purposes. There are scenarios. First scenario, price break above resistance level. We test this resistance level. It's not sufficient. And then start changing direction. That's a bullish setup. We will apply the trading drill. Setup signal low risk entry point. Do not buy straight away, use the trading drill. That's one scenario. So MACD is sloping up. We want to buy, we want to see a resistance being broken and retest it. If, pay attention to the media line, or, or, or pay attention to this media line here, okay? The media line of the top channel, all right? I'm extending it a bit, okay? So I'm going to call it now into orange. Pay attention, okay? So this was a support level. You see the tail of this candle, tail, tail, these are key level. Price dropped down here on the monthly chart, people bought it back up. Drop down here, it's a key level here. Same again, it's a very key level. Look, the price break above the orange line and retest it here. So mark is sloping up, this is how we buy. Break above, retest, turn around. Or, very simple, price, you can be very patient. Price going up, let's display higher high, and higher lows. In next scenario, if it doesn't coincide with, uh, okay, retest of uh, a resistance, all right, or a validation or resistance or support level, we want to see a higher low. So mark this loop enough. We want to buy like this, break a bow resistance, retest and validate in a resistance or support level, or price displaying higher lows, and this is a setup, not a signal. Not a signal. Okay, not a signal. It's not a signal. Right? In the past, people can trade like this, but now the market is becoming too intelligent, too smart, and uh, we don't want to trade like uh, old-fashioned traders anymore. So here we have uh, here 
So I draw my first trailer, you see here, during this point, this point. So this is the primary trend line. I talk about this at dayportrailer.com. It's a primary trend line, okay? Now the price is below that primary trend line. So again, we are trading the price, not <laughs> MACD. You see now, we watch MACD, we know that it's sloping up. Now we are spending most of our time paying attention to the price, yes or no? That's what we are doing. This is how you want to trade it all the time. I hear or sometimes today talk about MACD and say it's a useless indicator, MACD is too slow, lagging, it's a beautiful indicator. I recommend MACD, okay, moving averages, trend line to traders on for that are trading for us. If you are trading for us, learn to max that MACD. Go to www.stochasticmacd.com, subscribe to your Trio YouTube channel. All right? If you trade for us, use MACD. All right? In fact, as I will show trader this year, the slow stochastic, okay, we can replace the slow stochastic with moving average crossover. We can replace MACD with moving average crossover. We can replace CCI with moving averages. We can replace RSI with moving averages. It all comes down to the price, okay, and the substitute, or how should I put it to you, um, everything else that is connected to the price, okay? So now the price is in a rising channel first, and now it's out of the rising channel, but it's not in a declining channel. So though the price is out of this rising channel, MACD is sloping up, we want to buy. But now it's not in a declining channel. We, want, we do not want to fight the market pattern. So because MACD is rising here, I will not obtain to sell at the top here because I'm afraid that they may take me out, that the price may break a bobby because MACD gives me a warning that the price is trending up. So what I will do in this scenario, because the market pattern has changed from a rising channel into a horizontal channel, I will position myself on the lower part of this channel here and I will be looking for opportunity to buy as soon as I see a beautiful bullish setup here on the edge of the lower part of the horizontal channel. The opposite is also true when MACD is sloping down. Let's see whether I'll see another example. If MACD is sloping down, we'll apply the, the opposite, which means what, what are we looking for? So if MACD is sloping down, it's telling, it's telling us that the price is trending down. All right. So if I go, for instance, on a three days chart, you'll see, hopefully I'll see, I will have enough data to show you that. Um, not much going on here. Okay. Here, in this session here, uh, you see here, this session here, the MACD is sloping down, all right? Pay attention, I have too many drawings. MACD is sloping here on a three days chart, all right? So it's telling me that the price will trend down, the price is under a bearish trend line, all right? How do we sell? Again, I told you, in a downtrend, how do we sell? MACD is sloping down, we want to sell, price breaks below a support level, or testing the support level, and converting the support level into a resistance level. At this point in time, this is a bearish setup. Again, trading drill. Setup, signal, low risk entry point. Do not force it, do not sell straight away. Apply the trading drill. One example of like this, break below, retest, turn around. All right, here you can see here that there was a resistance here, color in, now into pink to grab your attention and also to please the beautiful ladies. Ladies can trade better than men. I'm sorry to say that, men, because I have a lot of ladies that are trading, okay, are <laughs> too. Women can trade very well, okay? So credit to ladies. So here you see that the price breaks below this uh, pink line, and then retest it here. Okay, it went a bit up here, all right? <laughs> Kick people out first, okay? Use a trading drill, all right? If the signal fail, come out first. It's not, okay, friendly here. Blah, 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 Kew! before coming down. Break below, retest, a bit messy, <laughs> all right, it happens, okay? And then before coming down, all right? Or, as I explained to you, price going down, prime display, lower lows, lower high, okay? So after the lower high here, we can mark this looping down. If mark this looping down, and the price rally a bit, display a lower high, so mark the is sloping down, Price rally a bit and display a lower high and a common central is broken. This is a bearish setup here. Let me say this again. Mark this sloping down. Okay. 
price display a lower high right here compared to this high and a common centralized broken it's a bearish setup we can do this on any time frame let me show you again i will remove all my drawing and uh, i will i want to show you more what i've just said okay so it's stick in your mind okay stick all right i like that word stick in your mind okay oh data gone where are you, where are we okay let's try to our chart okay i lost okay it's back okay uh pounds together okay I'm on a two two hours chart now, okay? You can see that uh, here, MACD is sloping down. Yes or no? Okay, MACD is sloping down. If MACD is sloping down and the price display a lower high and the common central is broken, it's a bearish setup. We use trading drill. We can go to the five minute chart, three minute chart to trade this from the two hour chart. You can go to the three minute chart and take it from there, all right? Or use the the TSTW24 for day trading purposes. So there was a, okay, a high, okay, a lower high. Then I say, oh, to myself, all right, MACD is sloping down, price display lower high, but the common strength and I must be broken and dim down. Okay, beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. Yes, the opposite is also true in the uptrend. MACD is sloping now. Okay, price also, okay. It's going up. There's no discrepancy between MACD and the price. What are we looking for? Price display a lower high. So there was this low. Very simple. We can apply this on a daily chart, weekly chart, monthly chart, and use a top-down trading method. TSTWSY use your head and trade like a pro, patiently, gently, gently. So low, a lower high, common center nice broken. We will buy because why MACD give us a bullish warning and the price is giving a direct signal. Here you can see that the price did not display a higher high bef uh, before displaying this uh, higher low. So it's a tricky one here. This one you have to be careful because the price does not display a higher high before displaying this higher low. So here, if you are buying, though you were beautiful, you need to be careful because the price did not display a higher high before displaying this uh, higher low. But it worked beautifully. MACD is sloping up. Common central line is broken, though here is a bit uh, risky. All right, it went beautifully up again. All right, and so on and so on. You want to use a tiny stop loss. You want to enter the trade on the edge, okay, to so control the risk. So if you are losing, you are losing small. You want to win. You want to win big. All right. So this is how we use a MACD, okay, slope like a professional trader. It makes sense. It is also powerful. I went over my 20 minutes time. I was not expecting to go over it, but it has happened, and I will let it run. Let's continue with our recording. Because you are my friend, we talk also about, uh, okay, the tool that we want to use. Military people use different arsenal from different activities, all right? But as a trader also, we use different tools for different purposes, all right? Okay? So... <laughs> <laughs> if, I know some traders are scalpless, okay? So they want to train on a three or four minute time, okay? They, they will use scalping trading to RTS315. Okay, we can use the TSTW24 for scalping, but it's not for scalping, it's far, it's for day trading in its proper sense of day trading, all right? I will be, okay, building, okay, a lot of scalping <laughs> a trading system for traders because traders recently told me a lot i noticed now a lot of traders are scalpers okay but I use the rts 315 for free download it at stochasticmat.com we go to stochasticmat.com click on documents okay register for free re-login for free and download the rts 315 if you are a scalper okay all right so now talking about this specific tool for, the, for a specific time frame, all right? So, the MACD 2026.9, what is the best time for using the, the standard MACD? Now, the best time for using the standard MACD, in fact, is the daily chart. Though trader can use it on different time frame, okay? I'm not saying that you cannot use it on the hourly chart, 30 minute chart, and so on, and so on, and so on. But the best time frame, if I want to create a trading system and I want to incorporate the standard MACD, I will use the daily chart. 
Why? Now, anytime you are building a tool, anytime you are building a trading system or a trading strategy, you want to understand what is happening and what you are trying to achieve. The first thing that you need to do is to understand the market stable data. All right, what's happening in this market? So you want to create a tool that will not fight the market, that will not distort the market, okay? A tool that will flow with the price set. So that's what you do, okay? You want to build a tool. So the standard MACD, at the end of the day, all right, I know some traders that trade it correctly, daily chart every time. Some traders that are trading stock, I know they trade MACD on a daily chart every day, creaming this market like mad dogs. So now, also, Apart from the setting of market on a daily chart, you want to also check the characteristic of the financial instrument that you are trading. So, though I say to you that the best time frame for MACD is the daily chart, some stock may not respond to it on a daily chart correctly because of the characteristic of these financial instrument or these securities. If they are too volatile, they will distort MACD. A trader or uh, somebody who is building a trading system must understand that characteristic of the financial instrument is very important, all right? So, uh, and also, the time frame that you are using and the specific tool that you are using so everything can work harmoniously. Why the daily chart, okay? The very good question. You have to see that we are using MACD 12. 12. So when we talk about 12, 26, 9, the most important thing is the 12. The, mo the moving average 12 is 60% of the moving average 20. Now, this is something else, okay? I will talk very fast, okay? Now, if you don't understand it, you have to replay because I don't want the video to be too long. The moving average 12 represents 60% of the moving average 20. By using the, mark, the standard MACD 12, we are on a daily chart, we are monitoring, okay, a monthly candle. Now, we know that the, 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 the trading week is five days, so if we consider the trading day as five days, the best monthly candle that we should use is 20 days. There is a trading software that they call uh, the Sierra chart, allow traders to set their time frame. I've done it one time with Forest, when I use 20 days, okay, 20 days candlestick bar, 20 days is a monthly chart, trading activity, 20 days. So with 20 days, instead of go, going directly and monitor the monthly chart, we go to the daily chart and we are using uh, the moving average 12 to monitor the monthly charts. Because 12 represents 60% uh, of, uh, 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 of 20, we are using what we call the law of majority. So we have uh, equilibrium at 50%. So if you have a group, 50% are performing well, and 50% 50 50 are performing above the standard, and another 50% are performing below the standard, we have a balanced group. We cannot label that group as a poor performance or okay, high performance because 50% are performing above the standard and 50% are performing below the standard. But that equilibrium will change quickly if we go above uh, the 50%. So the minimum is 60%. So if 60% of the group, okay, are performing well, we can say that the group is doing very well. The group, okay, is performing above the standard. On the other hand, if 60% of the group is performing below the standard, we may say that this group is performing below the standard because we go over 50 and the minimum that we are looking at is 60%. The same thing we are using when we are using MACD 12, 26, 9, 12 representing 60% of 20, we are monitoring 20 using 12, using the law of majority. I said enough, I will be going back to this subject in another time. Some trader will feel free to disagree with what I said now. Feel free to disagree. And uh, put your comment below why you disagree. Maybe we'll learn something from you also. And that will help, okay, the everybody else. I will wrap it up here because I don't want the video to be too long. So at the end of the day. So the standard MACD 1226 now, the best time frame is a daily chart. All right? You need to understand that. Very, very important is the daily chart, Okay. The, what we are doing, we are monitoring, okay, the monthly, okay, activity. So you can see here, uh, the MACD 12 on the daily chart is sloping down, all right? So what do we need to do? Break below, retest, turn around, okay? That's what we want to look. So here we are. There's a key level here. See here? 
put it here, touch it, touch it here, okay, this, this tail here, look at the tail of the candle, okay, tail, they all come into test this level, now finally we D below it and retest it here on the edge, mark this sloping now, boom, down, all right, now here, what's happening here, mark the, it's going back up, so you can see it went horizontal with the price together, and now it's going back up, what are we looking for this time, this is the pound dollar, Australian dollar, Trading like a pro. Now you know how to trade MACD. Trading like a pro. So we have again the same scenario. Horizontal channel. Okay. Price is out of the horizontal channel. Same thing we do. Market geometry. Multi-talented trading. Don't forget what you have learned before when you are applying something as new. Otherwise, you don't go anywhere. All right. Don't, don't do that. Okay. Don't lay something and then you lay something new and you forget the old one. That's why traders end up using all sorts of trading systems and changing them all the time. Don't do that. Okay. Don't forget what you learn. Okay. Apply them all together. All right. So game on. All right. So now it's, it's going up. You want it to give you a higher low patiently. Pull back. Retest. Turn around. Okay. It makes sense. So what we are doing, you can see that the prior was going down here. If we go to the monthly chart, if I, I put here, pay attention carefully what I'm going to do now. I'm going to put uh, a ver two vertical lines on my chart to highlight a session where the prior was going down, okay? Then from the daily chart, I'm going to switch to the monthly chart. Ah, we didn't see clearly here. It didn't highlight it properly because of where I draw it, you see, this candle it's in fact all the way here. The prime went down. Okay, this session here. All right. If you go back again, look carefully. All right. Maybe I have to adjust it to this point. All the way here. Okay. Red candle. Red candle. All right. So because we switch to the monthly chart, hopefully let's go back to the instead to the three day chart. You'll see it better here. You can see. Between the two vertical lines, we have a red, 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 red down here. But the monthly chart were not, was not showing us that, okay? All right? So the point I'm making here is that if you are on a daily chart, okay, use the standard MACD. Now, you can use the standard MACD on any other time frame, but suppose you're on a four-hour chart. What is the best time frame? What is the best setting for MACD you should use? You are a 30-minute chart. What is the best setting for MACD you should use? I'm not saying that the standard MACD could not work. It will work. But there is a, a better setting that we can use for MACD to monitor, okay, uh, the changes in the market. All right? I will stop here. And um, I hope you have learned something from this, okay? The first thing that you want to understand MACD is a training indicator, right? Training indicator. So you want to understand that clearly. So if MACD is rising, the price will rise. But sometimes there is a discrepancy between the price and the MACD. In that case, we must follow the price by adhering to the market pattern. Okay, there are three market patterns, the rising channel, the declining channel, and horizontal channel. If MACD is sloping down, we can sell if the price D below the support level, retest the support level, and convert the support level into resistant level. We can also sell if the price display lower high and the common central line is broken. If MACD is rising, we can buy if the price breaks above a resistance level, retest the resistance level, and convert that resistance into support level. All right? We can also buy if the price display a higher low after a higher high or the prior display, okay, a, a higher low, and a common central line is broken. These are trading setup. We will not buy straight away. We'll use a top-down trading approach, which we call the trading dream, the setup, the signal, and a low-risk entry point. I hope you have learned something for these videos, and we put into use to make excellent decisions. I have also mentioned to you that the best time frame for the standard MACD is uh, the daily chart. Now, traders must, uh, okay, experiment a bit with different settings for MACD to know exactly what's the best setting they should use for, okay, a specific time frame. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. We will be recording another video uh, about, uh, okay, how to max the MACD indicator, part five, where I will share with you another aspect of MACD. I will explain to you why I do not use the MACD histogram. See you in the next video.
If you like this video, give us the thumbs up. If you dislike it, okay, dislike it, but put your comment below. Joe, you say okay hundred times, or I did not understand your accent, in which case I'll say to you, get used to it. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and I will really speak to you very soon. We are the TS Mavdi Pro Traders.